The Orange Walk Song Factory Recording Studio was inaugurated by the government of Belize in Orange Walk Town. The facility boasts state-of-the-art sound equipment, recording software and production tools. Prime Minister John Briseño, era representative for Orange Walk Central, was in hand for the opening ceremony. When people think about music, they think about, about, about um, they think about Dan Griga, and then they think about you know um, about Chico Ramos and, and that that crowd because they develop a new song, you know they came up with a new song, but really in Orange Walk they have lots of music, and so it is, it is a great opportunity, <clears throat> and it takes some some kind of, of vision on the part of of. Um, Anthony and his team at BTV um, to, to realize that whilst we, we have such a wonderful, diverse tourism um, product, the sea, the jungle, the reserves, the archaeology, but there are two aspects that are missing, or probably three, food, culture, and music, for us to have that full package. Era representative for Orange Walk East, Kevin Bernard, and Rodwell Ferguson, the Minister of Youth, spoke on the benefits of such a professional space for young musicians in Orange Walk District. It is a space where young musicians and aspiring artists can come together to create, collaborate, and share their talents with the world. It is a world-class facility that will allow young people to produce high-quality music and develop their skills in a supportive and nurturing environment. But the Orange Walk Sound Factory Studio is much more than just a recording studio. It is a symbol of hope, opportunity, and empowerment for the youth of Orange Walk and beyond. Today signifies the beginning of an opportunity for young people of Orange Walk. When Mr. Samara told me that he's going to open a studio in Belize City, and likewise in Orange Walk, and he told me soon there will be one for Dangriga, I said, okay, that is fine. <laughs> because music is played across the country of Belize. And every different municipality or district have their own culture, have their own way how to express themselves. The construction, as well as the outfitting of the recording studio, was made possible through funding from the Ministry of Tourism and the Inter-American Development Bank. Anthony Mahler, the Minister of Tourism, explained that his ministry is on a mission to construct similar recording studios across the country. When we decided to work on this project, building music studios across the country, the first two that were decided upon were Belize City and Orange Walk Tongue, and we will then move on to Cayo and Dangriga. Uh, for us, tourism represents almost 47% of our GDP, so almost 50%. And we truly believe that culture, music, or diversity as a people are important uh, injectors into this very dynamic industry. And so the only way you can build a good music environment here in Belize is if you have the proper equipment, the proper incubators for the talented people that we have all across this country. These initiatives mark another important milestone for Belize in terms of diversifying the country tourism products and providing innovative opportunities for young Belizeans to access to employment and generate income. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.